Hey guys, I ever thought about moving to Edison, New Jersey? Today I'm gonna to go through everything that you need to know about moving to Edison. So let's check out, this home actually is for sale, uh, 1.25 million. We are in the zip code 08820, the most expensive zip code, I would say, in all of Middlesex County. And this specific zip code in Edison is the highest concentration of new construction, new builds, definitely in all of Middlesex County. Uh, and I would dare to say possibly in all of central New Jersey. So if you are looking for a luxurious grand home uh, in the central, part of New Jersey, amazing schools. Uh, you guys might be looking to move to this specific zip code 08820. Let me flip the camera. I'll show you around the neighborhood a little bit uh, and then we'll get to the map and show you everything that's around, everything that you need to know about it. right across the street from this home currently for sale 1.25 million and as you see here just another very very grand house next door it's a very nice looking house as well And I mean, this isn't even the, this is not the most expensive street in the zip code. Uh, I will tell you that, but pretty much you're looking at everything more than a million. Uh, this is gonna be much more than a million right here. This beautiful house. And then this one here next to that as well. So this is, this is what I think of when I think of the zip code 08820 in Edison. Edison's huge, you know, which we'll get to in the map. Um, a lot of different zip codes, a lot of different areas here. Um, but if you're looking for expensive and grand, uh, this is, this is where you want to be. All right, let's take a look at the map and get more into it. All right, let's take a look here at the map of what we have going on and all the cool things that we can do in and around Edison, New Jersey. Uh, as you guys probably know, the big benefit of living in central New Jersey is that you are close to everything. Um, Southern New Jersey, Western New Jersey, it's a little bit more of a drive, but one of the big benefits of living in central Jersey is you're probably 10 minutes from anything that you need anywhere you need to go. So when you're talking about Middlesex County, which is really the middle of central Jersey, and then Edison, which is the middle of Middlesex County, you are really near and next to absolutely everything that you could possibly need, which is again, a, a big, big draw to this area. Uh, why people move here, why people live here. So let's take a look real quick. We'll zoom out and I'll show you two of the major points here. So right here, obviously is Edison. That's what we're looking at. And right over here, Staten Island. And here we have New York. So if you work in New York, enjoy going to New York, uh, into the city, 
you are about a 45 minute drive from Edison into New York. Edison also has a train station that goes directly into New York. No transfers or anything needed. And that is about 10 minutes away from this section of Edison. So work in New York, enjoy going to New York. A lot of people live in Edison. They take the train into New York. Uh, that is a big, big draw of this area right here. If you like the beach, you are about an hour drive to the beach from Edison. Point Pleasant, right? Can just take the parkway straight down to Point Pleasant uh, or any of the Jersey Shore. You're about an hour from anywhere on the beach that you wanna be from Edison. So two big draw, drawing points, uh, points of interest here of most people in central New Jersey. And if you are living in Edison, New Jersey, you have quick access to both of them. Now, talking about quick access, let's take a look here at the highways because you are right next to every highway that you could possibly need in New Jersey. So let's take a look at the big ones right here. Garden State Parkway. You guys are next door to the Garden State Parkway, which will take you anywhere in New Jersey from north to south. You are, I would say, a five minute, 10 minute drive, probably a five minute drive to getting onto the Garden State Parkway from anywhere here in this zip code 08820. The next big one is the New Jersey Turnpike. That will take you anywhere you need to go from east to west in New Jersey. Uh, and you are about a seven to 10 minute drive to get onto the Turnpike from anywhere in Edison right here. Those are the number one and number two highways in all of New Jersey. Then we're talking about 287. That will take you almost anywhere else you need to go in the state of New Jersey. That's another big one. And Route 1 is gonna be something that in Edison you use a lot. And that will be used for travel from point A to point B, as well as a ton, a ton, a ton of food choices, grocery shopping, entertainment things. Uh, so guys, you are could not possibly be any closer to the highways that you need to be at. If you need to get around shopping entertainment wise, you have everything right here on your doorstep. So let's get rid of this and let's zoom in a little bit here to show you what I'm talking about. Route one, everything you could possibly need. Here is uh, the Woodbridge Mall. So you have hundreds of stores in the Woodbridge Mall here that you can get to within a couple of minutes. Different food stores, Buffalo Wild Wings, Jose Tejas, Best Buy, Marshalls, right? All of these foods, but guess what? Now you have Menlo Park Mall just a few minutes away from Woodbridge Mall. So you will never ever run out of stores food options, anything uh, when you're living here in Edison, just a few minutes away from two of the main malls in, in all of New Jersey, okay? Right, we zoom out here, got the hospital right there, if that's a concern for you guys, uh, as well as ShopRite very close here as well. So if we zoom in, a lot of people come to this part of Edison for big, grand, expensive houses, as well as schools. So, J.P. Stevens High School is a big, big draw here. You have John Adams School as well. Let's take a look into the school ratings and then take a look at some of the houses here, the neighborhoods, so you can kind of get a sense of what we have going on here. Uh, and then we will uh, follow up and then we can wrap it up with the map. And let's take a look at the school ratings right now. All right, so here we are taking a look at the schools, which is one of the biggest draws to this area of Edison. Everybody who comes here, they come here for the schools. This is a big, 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 big draw. So take a look. You have the highest rated schools that you could possibly even imagine. So let's just scroll through real quick. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10. The, the school ratings are absolutely top-notch everywhere here definitely 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 one of the main main reasons that people come uh, and move to again Edison in general but especially this specific zip code uh, in Edison P 
people are looking for just top, top, top of the line schools. So let's just take a look here. Uh, this is a very popular one, James Madison. A lot of people I talk to want to move to this specific area that goes to this specific school. Uh, nine out of 10 for everything. Great schools advertisement there, <laughs> um, but I'll do my own. Again, I love looking on this website. If you guys are moving to this area, any area really, take a look at great schools and it will show you almost everything that you could possibly want to take a look at uh, to decide if this school, this area is what it is that you are looking to move to. So it goes through everything, all right? Let's go and take a look at the neighborhood. I'll show you guys some houses and uh, that way you can kind of get a feel of, of what everything looks like there. Hey guys, let's go check out one of my favorite places to eat here in Edison, the Brownstone. Hey guys, obviously as you can tell, the Brownstone, one of my favorite restaurants in Edison. You saw the cut of that steak on that cheesesteak, right? It's just a, a great place. Food is great. Atmosphere is good. It's casual, but kind of professional as well. Uh, so definitely one of my favorite spots to go into when I'm showing a house over in Edison or uh, going on a listing appointment, whatever I'm in the area. Now, Edison is has a ton of different food options. It's a very, very diverse area, especially for food. They have Indian food, Thai food, Chinese food, pretty much Greek food, everything that you can imagine. Uh, it's real close to Metuchen, which has a lot of great food areas uh, as well. So if you guys live in Edison or you have a favorite restaurant that you go to in the Edison area, please do me a favor, leave it in the comments below. It'd be a big help for me as well as the people who are watching this video who are about to move to Edison uh, to give them some great dinner and lunch ideas. Uh, for when they do move into the area, some restaurants to go try out. Be a big, big, big help. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your feedback and your comments and your recommendations for places to go here in Edison. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. That should be all of the information that you need to really get started and determine whether this is the right area for you to move or whether you are looking to move somewhere else. Appreciate you guys joining the video. If you guys are looking to move within the next month or within the next year and you want to talk, discuss your options, see what's out there, please feel free. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and I would be happy to help. We can get us on a Zoom call and go over all the information about the area, the neighborhood, the town, the schools, just like I did in this video. Again, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate, really hope that this helped you, and I will see you guys on the next video.